Okay, so in this video, what we want to do is solve these two equations uh, between 0 and 2 pi. And we're going to utilize the uh, double angle formulas in order to do it. Now, sine 2x equals sine x. Now, sine 2x, there's nothing you can replace that with apart from the 2 sine x cos x. So that's what we're going to do. So 2 sine x cos x must be equal to sine x. Now, in order to solve that equation, you need to subtract the sine x from both sides and then factorise. Okay? You cannot divide both sides by sine x because you'll lose solutions. So, factoring out the sine x of both terms, you're going to get 2 cos x minus 1 inside the bracket, and it's all equal to 0. So, either sine x equals 0, or this bracket is 0, so cos x would have to be a half. Now, sine between 0 and 2 pi is 0 at 0 and pi. Now, the 2 pi is not included here, so x could be 0 or pi. Now, in order for cos x to be a half, between 0 and 2 pi, we're expecting two possible solutions. Okay, so inverse cosine of a half is pi over 3, so x is pi over 3, that's that solution there, and the other solution will be 2 pi take away pi over 3, so 5 pi over 3. So these are the four solutions to the original problem. Okay, so that's number one. So number two, we have cos of 4x plus cos of 2x equals 2. Now, ordinarily, we might be thinking, ah, right, so we've got cos of 2x. I want to go straight in and use one of the uh, double angle formula that we've got. But the problem is that cos of 4x. So really what you want to do is you want to think about is there some way of writing cos of 4x in terms of cos of 2x? Okay, so cos of 4x, because cos of 2x is each of these, then cos of 4x is the same as this, but with each of the x's as 2x, because cos of 2 lots of 2x is the cos of 4x. So you could replace each of these x's with 2x, and you get equivalent formulae. So cos of 4x is the same as 2 cos squared 2x minus 1, for example. So what I've then got is a replacement for cos of 4x, which is going to give me an equation with cos 2x's in. So if I tidy this up... take the two from both sides, I now have a quadratic equation in cos 2x. Now, can it factorise? So we'd have 2 cos 2x here, and cos 2x there. OK, so I'm going to need a 3 and a minus 1, or minus 3 and 1. So I'm going to need the 3 over here, I reckon. So minus 1 and plus 3, that does it. So either the cos 2x is minus 3 halves from that bracket, or the cos 2x is equal to 1. Now, cos of 2x cannot be equal to minus 3 halves, so there's no solutions from that equation. Cos of 2x can be 1, however. So, um, cosine is 1 at 0, and, well, the 2 pi is not counted, but um, we don't need that alternative solution there. So we can say that 2x is equal to uh, 0. Well, let's include it, OK? Or 2 pi.
makes sense to include it really. So either x is 0 or x is pi. Okay. Now you can add on the period of the function, which is going to be just pi, okay, because it's cos of 2x, the period is now pi. But adding on pi to 0 just gets me that solution. Adding on pi to that gets me 2 pi, but 2 pi is not included. Okay, so 0 and pi are actually the only solutions to this problem. Now, I guess, you know, thinking back, I didn't really need to do 2x equals 2 pi because ultimately I could, would have just added uh, the period of the function onto this one here to get pi anyway. Okay, but that's an oversight. Okay, so that's how we can utilise double angle formulae. Um, in an obvious way in number one and in a not so obvious way for number two.